Hi guys, hope you are welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a Mrs Hinch hints and tips video. So basically I follow Mrs Hinch and I have done for quite some time now, just before she got super big. And um, I've loved following her on Instagram, seeing her journey. She is just amazing and the way she organises and cleans her home is phenomenal. So I've tried to grab some hints and tips off her um, and popped them in a video for you guys originally a little while ago I did one so I'll pop that link in the description box below but I'm also going to do another one now because she's just got so many hints and tips and I just want to share them with you because you guys seem to really like my first video so I thought do you know what I'm going to do another one and I might do another one again after this in a few months time so Mrs Hinch is somebody who is just amazing at cleaning and organizing and she just has lots of little hacks for you that just help you with your day to day cleaning and organizing within the home so I am going to just go through various products and talk to you about the hints and the tips and the hacks that she has for them. So one of the things that Mrs Hinch absolutely loves is the flora and this is her favourite scent which is Mountain Air. This is one of my favourites to be fair, it's the strongest one yet it's the one that's really good for pets if you have pets in the home. Um, it seems to be safe, it's an odour remover and disinfectant so you can dilute this and use this all over the home basically. So um, she has lots of different uses for this and I have actually done a video on Miser Flora uses so I will find that video and pop that description, uh, that link into the description box for you guys. So with this Flora, what Mrs Hint does is she has a tip where if you have got these in the home and you've run out of whatever scent you had in there which I have with a lot of them and as you can see I have with this one then what she does is she gets her Sephora and basically pours it in and then you've got the Sephora scent within the home through those now I literally before this did this video was like what are these called again reed diffusers um, so through the reed diffuser you can smell your favorite Sephora scent so if you don't like mountain air you can pick whatever scent you want and pop that in and then you've got your reed diffuser back again with a different scent so yeah um I love that tip and I've done that with one that I've got upstairs in the bathroom so this one has run out again so I'm going to pop my mountain air in this one for later so I've got that one for my living room then another thing that Mrs Hinch uses is elbow grease now I've got to admit I've been using this before Mrs Hinch because my mum has always used this you can get this for a pound in Poundland you can get it in Home Bargains b and I actually used to get this from a corner shop near my parents house um, so it's called elbow grease, it's solvent free and you can use it wherever there's any grease. So I've always used this on my cooker, on my, like the top of my um, hob. Uh, you can use this within the oven, you can use this on any greasy stains anywhere. So if you've got like any grease that seems to have gone on your dining table or something or on your sofa, you can spray this on and it will get rid of it. This stuff is amazing and Mrs Hinch is really loving this too. So if you've got any grease anywhere within the home and it also says fabric as well, which I have used and it has worked, then you can use this. Now my children are forever getting like oil or like olive oil or whatever on their top. So this has just been a lifesaver. So yeah, get yourself some elbow grease. And then another thing that Mrs. Fr uh, Mrs. Fridge, <laughs> Mrs. Hinch loves is Carpet Fresh 1001. So I used to be an avid, um, what do you call it, shake and vac. And I did purchase this after I saw Mrs. Hinch using it and I was like, mm, it's okay. But now I'm obsessed with it and I keep buying it because I was using it wrong before. So basically hoover up your home, spray this on and it's just gonna smell beautiful. Or you don't need to necessarily hoover if your carpet's pretty much clean and dust free, then just spray this on anyway. Mrs. Hinch will use this on her rug and her carpets and she will sing Let It Snow. So if you watch her on Instagram on her story, she will see that she'll just spray it on and just leave it to settle and it'll fill her home smelling beautiful. This is the Fresh Linen and White Flowers, which is actually my new favorite scent. I really, really like it. Um, yeah, so just spray it on and just let it kind of go into the carpet or into your rug or whatever and it eliminates odours and it leaves your home feeling and smelling clean and lovely. So yeah, sing let it snow when you spray it as well, just like Mrs Hinch does. Then another thing, going on to the theme of carpets, which I seem to have quite a few things around carpets today, um, is, so, get yourself a brush, get yourself your favourite fabric conditioner. Now, this is revolutionary. Um, oops, just brushing my hair. Um, so, 
basically what Mrs Hinch did was she had her rug and it's a grey rug which is exactly like mine and she popped some of her favourite fabric conditioner which is normally the Lenore Blue Awakening I think it's called, the one that she loves. She popped it in lukewarm water, she got herself just a plain cloth, so like this one for example, and she basically soaked this in the lukewarm fabric conditioner and she also added some liquid detergent as well to it. And then she soaked this in that and she rubbed in one corner of her rug and she just kept rubbing rubbing and every time she lifted up her the cloth and it was just like grey with dirt and she couldn't believe it. Considering how much Mrs Hinch cleans, it was like oh my god mine must be absolutely awful then because she cleans every single day like with everything whereas I just do bits when I can during the day and when I'm not at work like after work I'll frantically do something but yeah so I was like oh my god I need to do mine. So I just rubbed it all in and oh my god it was awful so I just did the whole rug and it's incredible and then also she used a handled brush as well so I just used this which is like a bottle brush and I just worked it in as well just to get up more of that dirt and honestly my bowl afterwards was grey, it was disgusting but my rug was sparkly clean and was super clean and fresh and smelling gorgeous so that's another tip for you that Mrs Hinch does um, I actually think she got it from somebody else but I saw it on her Instagram so yeah I had to do just follow it and then another thing that she does is you get yourself a, a is it called a squeegee I think it is so you get this part of it and oh my god this was incredible so on your carpet you just rub down and just keep rubbing down and honestly the hair and the dirt that it picks up is phenomenal so I just hoovered my house spotted that she did this so thought I'd try it even though I'd hoovered and it picked up so much hair I was like oh my god it's disgusting so I do this now on my stairs religiously so that's another tip for you guys to do is that you can get these for a pound anywhere or even cheaper than that so just get a squidgy and if you've got pets in particular like I don't but if you've got pets honestly the amount of dog hair that she picked up on her stairs Mrs Hinch was incredible so it might help you guys with that because you know you might have a shark which is her favourite hoover you might have a Dyson but at the end of the day that beats them a lot Another tip for you guys is, with your favourite fabric conditioner, get some lukewarm water, pop some of this into the lukewarm water, and then with a sponge, soak it in, and you can clean your skirting boards. And apparently fabric conditioner is meant to repel dust, is that the right word to use? Uh, and also, it just leaves your home smelling so lovely, and I also do it on my doors as well. I am just obsessed with doing this, and I tend to do this in the evening, I'll just dust along with the fabric conditioner and a sponge, and it just leaves my home smelling lovely, and it just gets rid of all the dust. And I do find I don't then have to do it for a good few days later, whereas in the home that we're in, I tend to dust, which is a duster, and then the next day, or the next after, like in the afternoon, it would just be dusty again. It used to really irritate me, but this definitely does work. It definitely does repel it, so I'd highly recommend you guys doing this. And I think that everything... No, one more tip for you guys. So, with your toilet brush, I used to leave my toilet brush in my toilet holder and pop in like Sephora or some bleach but another little tip from Mrs Hinch is when you've bleached your toilet you cleaned your toilet and do whatever you do the last thing you do then is pop your toilet brush in after you've cleaned your basin pop a cap full of Sephora in or your favourite bleach it could be the pine one like Mrs Hinch absolutely loves and you literally put it on leave your toilet brush in your toilet for until you need to use the toilet or whatever and it will clean your toilet brush at the same time as cleans the toilet I mean, what a legendary thing to think of. I would never have thought of that. My mum's now like, I do it all the time. I love it. And it just cleans your, your, your toilet brush as well as your toilet and job done. And then you just pop it back in your toilet holder and it's all sorted. So that's another hint for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will make sure I can do another one soon. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a like and hit that subscribe button and I will see you all soon. Bye.